Today we're going to be talking about how to control page breaks in an Excel spreadsheet. When you start out, you'll see these uh, dashed or, or dotted lines that show where your page breaks naturally fall. And sometimes, like here, we've got this page break falling just a couple lines from the end of a section. You know, you can create awkward breaks and you want better presentation than that on your, on your printed product. Um, so you want to be able to uh, manually insert or move page breaks as, as needed. So the first way we're going to talk about is kind of the old school way. And if you if you started working with spreadsheets using Lotus 1, 2, 3 on a green or amber monochrome monitor, this will seem very familiar to you. But it's still a simple and effective way to do it. Um, so if you come up here to the Page Layout tab on the ribbon and go to the Breaks button, you can click Insert Page Break. And you can see it put a page break, that solid line there represents, represents a manual page break as opposed to the dashed lines for automatic page breaks. And uh, just put that in there. Um, now I was in column A when I did that and so it just gave me a horizontal line. And if we scroll down we can see that now it has adjusted this page break um, down to here so we've got an, a normal page between the page break that I inserted and the page break there. We could have forced this page break to a different place also. Um, let's undo that. And if I had had my cursor over here in column D when I inserted the page break, you'd see that now I've got a solid, page, solid line representing both a horizontal and a vertical page break and this dashed line has gone away and that's because now there's enough room to fit everything between my new you know manual page break and the last column all that will fit onto one page so it automatically adjusted that off now to uh, remove a page break that you've manually inserted you just put your cursor either below a horizontal page break and go to page layout breaks you can remove page break or if you go to the left of I'm sorry to the right of a vertical page break you've inserted then you can remove page break or if you want to undo all of them you can just say reset all page breaks and you're back to your original just natural pagination so the other way you can go about it is if you go to the view tab you can switch to your page break preview and now you can see the view changes a little bit, so you're only only seeing uh, the part of the spreadsheet that's going to be printed, hides the other cells, and your page break lines show up in blue here. And you can well, you can right click. So I can right click, and uh, now it's off the screen. But you can right click and, and insert a page break there, or you can also drag. So here I could take this page break and drag it up there below total revenue. That would insert a page break here. You can see it's a solid line showing some manual break. And then it, you know, adjusted where the next page break falls to give it a normal page in between there. Let's undo that. And now if I adjust it the other way, if I drag this down, now you see that my vertical page break moved over to the right and that's because by adjusting it down I'm telling Excel to force more lines onto a page so it has to scale it down or shrink it down to do that and in the process then you're also going to get you know more width uh, more columns fitting onto the page um, it can work the other way also like for example if I wanted this to go all the way over say I wanted all of my columns on one page I could do that and now you see this lands even a little bit farther down because it's shrinking it even more. Um, but if I wanted to get this in a more natural position, then I could drag that up. And then I'd have my page breaks right there. Now I've got it all formatted to fit on the two pages. And again, to undo everything, you can right click and reset all page breaks, or you can go back where we were before into page layout breaks, reset all page break, and that will work no matter which method you use to insert your page breaks.